Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of Glen Sound's Express Box. So, here at Glen Sound, we designed and made our first ever commentary box back in the early 1970s. And ever since then, we designed hundreds of different ones and manufactured tens of thousands. The Express Box built on our commentary box heritage and was designed specifically for those broadcasters who need a very simple to operate commentary unit for two announcers that's also really importantly cost effective. When we designed the unit, we worked really hard to make the facilities as simple as possible and this was to ensure that we kept the cost of the product down. Because of this, we imagined it as being an occasional use unit and expected any of our customers who wanted a box for daily use to opt for our more versatile, as well as popular, CU001. However, over time we realised that there are in fact many broadcasters who do happily use their express box every single day. However, one thing that we didn't cut back on when we designed the unit was the quality. The express box does in fact have the same high quality microphone amplifiers and world renowned compressor and limiter curves as well as high output headphone amplifiers that we use in our other commentary units. It's also manufactured using the same lightweight yet very hard growing aluminium construction that we've perfected over many years of experience. The Express Box has two microphone inputs, so there's one for each commentator, and these are fed into fixed gain microphone amplifiers before the compressor and limiter circuits. There's a 48 volt phantom power that can be turned on or off for each input. And when this is turned on, it also reduces the fixed microphone gain to an appropriate level for most condenser microphones. Using their own three front panel switches, the commentators can route the output of their microphone amplifier on and off air, and also to two off air talkback circuits. The functionality of the front panel switches can be set to work in a fashion that is perfect for you. Each express box has nine electronically balanced XLRs on the rear. Five of these are output XLRs and each commentator has their own dedicated output. And this is after the main on switch. And there's also a mix output of these two circuits. The other two outputs are talkback outputs and these are shared between both commentators both of whom who are able to talk to either talkback circuit. There are four balanced audio inputs on rear panel XLRs, which are routed to each of the commentator's headphone amplifiers. Each commentator also has a front panel level control, which generates a mix of the four audio inputs to their headphone feed. The front inputs are most commonly used for program, cue, and two talkbacks, but you can actually use them for anything you like. Two further level controls are provided for each commentator's headphone mix. The first is side tone, which is the commentator's own voice, while the second is for the other commentator's voice. The output of the headphone amplifiers are on standard tip ring sleeve 6.35mm jack sockets, which are really conveniently located on the front panel next to the mic input XLRs. The unit can be powered by a mains and it will work from 100 to 240 volts AC, so it's suitable for use all around the world. The mains input is by industry standard IEC. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you've learned something about the Express Box. But if of course you do still have any more questions or queries, make sure that you check out www.gunsound.com. You can also head over to our YouTube channel where you'll find more videos about our products. I'll see you soon. Bye.